Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. We are on day six here in Tao Paulo, still on the hunt for our Charmander, Cyndaquil, and Onyx. Starting off with 18,392 sneaky snacking, which makes sense. I did collect berries from everyone last night because we were this close to hitting Master 2, and I really wanted Master 2 before we went into our sleep research today. Uh, I believe that's where Steelix starts to spawn so that's why but knowing me it's probably master three and i stayed up late for nothing but we're gonna find out so let's go ahead and jump in grab our sleep points get another 400 a day thanks to the bonus event going on which puts us at 5230 and for our daily lottery Maybe we can get something helpful. A hundred diamonds would be nice. I will take an ingredient ticket though. Those are always helpful. Very much so. My uh, ingredient ticket inventory is running kind of low and I'm running out of friends to level up to get them for free. So I will take them from the daily gift whenever we can get it. Well, let's jump into this sleep report session 161. Eight hours, 59 minutes. We got 6% dozing, 35% snoozing, and 59% slumbering. So I know what sleep type we're going to get. Which typically would be very nice because that would, you know, give us Onyx and or Steelix. I think both are slumbering type. But with the balanced sleep type this week, it doesn't really matter. Got in the top belly. 41.68 million, not bad at all. And that's seven spawns. Maybe in a top belly Steelix. Nope, just got that adorable a top belly Togepi. I see a Cyndaquil though, so that's good. We got one that we want. And a Bonnet and a Charmander. Interesting stuff. So nothing new. We got Geodude, uh, Why Not, Charmander, Bennett, Cyndaquil, Togepi, and Wigglytuff. So nothing new, but we did get two of the ones that we're hunting for. Hopefully at least one of them will be hungry. Come on, man. What is going on? Nobody is hungry lately. So let's see, let's zoom out and we should, I, I know what I'm going to do with Cyndaquil. I want to find that Charmander and see, okay, yeah, Charmander has nothing on it. So let's go ahead and give that the premium bonus biscuit. Wigglytuff only takes five pips, huh? Or no, that's Charmander. Ignore me, I'm dumb. Scratch that. All right, so we've got the Charmander in the bag. Now to go and take this Cyndaquil home. Which should be pretty... Yeah, it'll be pretty easy. Just two biscuits and we should be fine. We definitely need a better Typhlosion for the long run for Tau Palo. Berry Finder S would be very good. Helping Speed M would be very good. Adamant, I think Brave is the other one that's really good for, uh, for a Berry Gatherer. But we're going to go ahead and just stick with those two. And we'll see how they turn out. Let's send out, because Cyndaquil is just stupidly adorable. Let's send out some Cyndaquil candy. Plus, people need uh, some Cyndaquil candy for their own Typhlosion, so we'll make sure everybody's got enough. At 2,181 XP, not quite enough to get us to the next level, but 3,600 Dream Shards to go along with it. And let's see what's going on over here. We've got a Calm, I don't think is great and let's see we've got sausage ginger sausage 
it's not the worst. Um, it's actually still viable in the long run because it will give us more sausage than anything. Uh, but not exactly what we're looking for. Skill Trigger S is not bad. Ingredient Finder M is very good. Helping Speed S is very good. Ingredient Finder S is good. Inventory Up S at level 100. I'd like to see that a little earlier, but all in all, these are very useful. And Calm is not good. It's very bad. Speed of Help Down is pretty rough. All right, so here we go. Yep, that calm nature is just kind of kind of really dragging everything down. Everything else was really good. That calm nature is just bad. This one might be usable for a while. I know it's showing a 48% and that's lower than the 50% that we had already. But with the sub skills, it might be usable for a little while until we find something better. But I don't think I'm still not going to invest in it until we do find something better. So we'll just go ahead and put it in the box for now. And hopefully we find something better. But if not, we might be able to use it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one which is, of course, uh, Cyndaquil. Level 11 and mild. We've got Ginger Herb Herb, which doesn't really matter. It's the base, base one anyway. All right, so for the sub skills, let's go ahead and clear the board. Oh, there's that button. That's nice to know. Always learning something new. Research XP bonus is not terrible. Inventory up S. Not really useful. Ingredient finder M is very not useful. Ingredient finder S. This is not looking good. Helping speed S. The one that's actually beneficial for Cyndaquil. All the way at level 100. And mild is terrible. Yeah, this is going to be uh, very low on the list, I think. 34%. So yeah, that's definitely not as good as the Quilava we have already. So that will definitely be going to live with the professor. And there is not really anything else we need to say about that one. So let's go ahead and move on. A very unfortunate capture today. But we did get another 152 sneaky snacking while we were gone. We'll grab those candies while we look at the no new news. Still no new medals, and what have you guys been up to? Hopefully getting better luck than me. 43 reports with one, two, three, four, only four that have doubled. See, I just said yesterday we're getting consistently 20 to 25%, and here we barely made 10%. Rough day, but that is a level up for a link cable. My favorite. All right, well, with all that going on, let's uh, let's go ahead and collect from our helpers and see how many we might have a skill trigger here. Yep. So there's one, 1,400. There's two. Two for two so far. Can we get lucky here? Three for three. With two of the most important ones actually triggering first thing in the morning. So that's good. Four for four. We're doing really good so far. And that's a great start. And then can we make it a perfect five for five? No, almost four out of five. Still not bad, though. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and cook up some breakfast. We're going to make the curry again because we did get enough uh, herbs to do so. And actually, we've been kind of struggling a little bit with the mushrooms this time around. Let's throw in a bunch of potatoes. We've been getting plenty of them. The Victory Bell has been putting in a lot of work in that department. Potatoes are slightly less than the mushrooms, but not terribly so. So we can still make a pretty decent meal. 
Should still be around that, uh, what was it, 16,000 yesterday? Yeah, 16,656. Which is enough for a level up. And it won't be enough to get us to Master 3. But it'll probably put us about three quarters of the way, maybe. Yeah, right at right at three quarters, almost four fifths. And to get to Master 3, we just need another... Was that 14,000? Yeah, that's super easy. We'll definitely get that today. So then... Master 4... Mm, 533,000, so we would need another 75,000. Actually, pretty, pretty possible, especially by the end of tomorrow. Let's go ahead and collect our, our last mission. Well, not our last one, but the one we have completed. So we've got that Cyndaquil incense. So that's good. We can guarantee ourselves at least one of them. And one thing I want to do before we move on, it's going to seem a little weird, but we've already hit our goal, which was Master 2 for the incense, and it looks like we're definitely hitting Master 3. So what I want to do to prepare for tomorrow is to swap out and get our milk and cocoa on the team because we're going to need it for what I'm planning for tomorrow. That shouldn't affect our recipes at all, because our recipe is by Gengar and Victory Bell. The Spore Mushroom Curry is like the one that we're really focusing on. This will just help with our recipe tomorrow. So we should have a pretty good day, and if need be, I can swap out uh, Quilava for somebody else if we need to get some more berries on the team. And and or some other ingredients that might help for tomorrow. But that's kind of where we're sitting overall. Not the greatest research today. I mean, let's go check our Charmanders real quick and see where we're at. Yeah, so we've got this level 10 and this level 11, which level 10, I think, was better, if I remember correctly. Let me go double check real fast. This level 11, definitely not better, but might be usable just because of its sub skills. The, the level 10 ended up being like, yeah, 71%. So that's better than this is our old one, which is all sausage, which is not terrible either. That's not a bad combination. Um, unfortunately, why is this one so bad? This one doesn't look terrible to me other than ingredient finder all the way at the bottom. Let me check this one again. What is that energy recovery down? Which is... Uh, it'll be this one. Right? Lonely? Yeah. 56%, so it's actually gone up since they've recalculated uh, or redone how they calculate the Pokemon stats. Uh, I mean, it's a long way to go to get Ingredient Finder. This one's actually not terrible, but it would require a lot of investment to make it good. So I think we're still going to look for something. Yeah, we're still going to look for something better. That, that one's not bad. I'm not going to get rid of it just yet. Um... Definitely better than this one. 6% Charmeleon. Which, the nature ruins it. That's what it was. I was looking at the sub skills thinking those weren't bad either, but that nature just kills it. Yeah, 7%. Ingredient finding down, and you don't get Ingredient Finder S to kind of balance it out until level 100. That's pretty bad. So... Unfortunately, it's bad, and stupidly, I think... No, I didn't. Good. I was gonna say, I thought I spent a main skill seed on it back in the day, but no. I did not. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at with our Charmanders. None of them are really great. Level 10 is the best one we've gotten. It's only 71%, so we could do a lot better. So the hunt still continues, and it's not the most ideal ingredient spread. 
So the hunt continues. But that said, that's what I've got for today. I appreciate you watching the video. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, later, dudes.